The guard link on machine interface can bring safety inputs and diagnostic information into a guard logics. 5380 or 5580 safety programmable controller. The subject of today's video is understanding the data that flows between the 432ES IG3 GuardLink interface and GuardLogix. This video will highlight key data flow concepts. A complete and detailed explanation of each data point can be found in the 432ES IG3 user manual. From a high level, there are three types of data flowing through the 432ES IG3 GuardLink interface. The first type of data is safety input data. There are three bits of safety rated data coming from the GuardLink interface, channel zero status, channel one status, and channel two status. The channel status data can be used in the safety task for safety functions. The second type of data is standard input data. From the GuardLink nodes. Standard input data is used for diagnostics, troubleshooting, and HMI display. The third type of data is standard output data to the GuardLink nodes. Standard output data includes guard door lock and unlock signals as well as device reset. Since the guard door lock control is coming from the standard control logics, there is no safety rating on the 432ES IG3 lock control. In previous videos, the 432ES IG3 was added to the GuardLogix I.O. configuration and GuardLink taps were configured. Now the I.O. configuration has no yellow triangles on the GuardLink interface or channel nodes, and status running indicates that there is communication to all devices. Double click controller tags to see the inputs and outputs the GuardLink interface provides. First, let's monitor the safety inputs. Looking down the class column, the GuardLink interface safety tag is designated with class equal to safety. There is one safety input tag structure per GuardLink interface. Clicking the arrow by the tag name expands the contents of the tag structure. The safety tag provides detailed diagnostic information for the GuardLink interface. Very important to note are the three safety rated input tags, channel zero status, channel one status, and channel two status. The status tags for each guard link channel can be used in the guard logic safety task to indicate whether an individual guard link channel has a safety demand. One means no safety demand. Typically safety is run ready. Zero means safety demand, typically a safe stop request. Other useful information includes channel device count. This is the number of devices on the guard link. Channel trip timestamp displayed in style data time shows the time of the last channel trip. The arrow next to guard link 432 input is clicked to close the expanded tag view. Each GuardLink node provides standard rated input and output data for troubleshooting and use in the standard control logics task. The standard data available will vary depending upon GuardLink tap series. Data from GuardLink enabled devices will vary upon device type and series. Standard input data for a series B tap provides information such as diagnostic sequence count, which increments as node diagnostic events occur, Channel A and Channel B input raw data for dual channel devices. Power warnings when supply voltage is outside the specified 20.4 to 26.4 volt DC range. Short circuit for safety input shorts. Discrepancy fault when Channel A and B are different. One item to note is i.point.data for a node indicates one when tripped. This is opposite state of digital safety input cards. GuardLink enabled devices such as the 440G MZ locking guard door provide device specific information such as door closed, door locked, locking fault, setup and configuration information as well as temperature and end of life warnings. 
Each guard link node has a standard rated output tag. Locking guard doors can be locked or unlocked from standard logic using the guard link interface. Unlocking guard doors from the standard task may not be justifiable for safety rated locking functions. Review the machine risk assessment and appropriate interlock safety standards like ISO 14119 before using the non safety rated guard door locking feature. Finally, the reset device output allows the connected device to be power cycled from the standard task. A device power cycle can be useful for clearing faults. Now that the GuardLink interface module has been configured and we have an understanding of the data flow, we are ready to program the GuardLink system in Logix Designer. Programming a Guard Logix application is a topic for another video. Thanks for watching, and hey, let's be careful out there.